is Joanna Green. So maybe that is why, but it can be as difficult to pronounce as it is to pass on. Here is Jeff Shackelford with more. Well, the A is silent and so is the U. If you read this, wouldn't you? You'd say Poa Annua. But that would sound a bit daft, really. Poe Annual. Always known from us as Poana. We just say Poa. Because <laughs> nobody can pronounce the exact pronunciation. I failed in Latin anyway. <laughs> Its name is Poa anyway, it's a Latin name. Some people call it Po, some people call it annual bluegrass, some people call it annual meadowgrass, some people call it Poa Anna, some people call it, geez, I missed my shot because it was so bumpy. It's a weed, and it should stay a weed. Poa Anna is an annual grass. It is a primary species on many lawns, sports fields, and of course, golf courses. The great Poa golf courses, whether it's Oakmont, Pebble Beach, Wingfoot even, the areas where Poa thrives, it's been managed years and years and years. The annual variety is a prolific seed head or flower producer. And when those seed heads are evident on the putting green, if they're not controlled, the ball will have a tendency to hop. And when it hops, it has a tendency to go offline. Remember this? Watch the ball hop, skip, and jump. This is the helpless effect of Poa Annua in the late afternoon championship conditions. What makes such a glorious surface turn so unruly over the course of a tournament round? Several factors, actually. What you can see here is you can see the root depth on bent grass as it dries down, it dries down deeper. These roots are able to extract moisture from deeper in the profile without having to water it every day. That keeps it firmer, faster, more uniform. The atypical with Poa, virtually no root system at all. Roots two to three inches deep are all you're going to see. So it doesn't take long when you start to dry things down for it to deplete the moisture that's available to it. With a shallow root structure, Poa dries out very quickly. But because it is an annual, the turf survival is dependent on growing quickly and constantly in ideal conditions. A poa green mowed at 7 a.m. may grow significantly in just a few hours. Sometimes in the morning it's great. The best surface to putt on the first thing in the morning and they become absolutely uh, treacherous and horrific in, in the afternoon after a lot of play. By four o'clock it's like putting on a waffle iron. One of the things with bent grass is that it's the same species of bent pretty much over the entire 18 holes. With poa, there could be thousands of different biotypes that make up a poa green. You can see the patchiness, the different colors and stuff. Those are different biotypes that have evolved over time. It's just like all of us. We're all kind of the same, but we all have different genetics. So there's different growth rates, different growth characteristics, trying to get all those biotypes to behave the same for a smooth ball roll. It's not impossible, but it's very, very difficult. I think that sums it up. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult. And Poe is something that we need to get used to on the West Coast. What is it about this grass that you find the most challenging? Uh, it's like I said, in the morning, it's the best to putt on. In the afternoon, it's like putting on cauliflower. I mean, that's the best way I can do it. It just bounces. And Poe grass will make you Poe if you Poe bad enough. And that's what happens to me. I mean, I just feel like I struggle on it, although I won on the Olympic Club, mm -hmm. uh, won the Tour Championship. So the guys that grew up on it, they, they don't fear it. I grew up on bent. I love bent. I had to learn how to putt on Bermuda. But if you play the PGA Tour, you play worldwide like they do, you have to make those adjustments. I think it's more in the afternoon when you think you've hit a good putt, but you can miss it from that far on Poe, and it'll drive you crazy. But so how do you prepare for that then? You have to be patient. I don't know. I haven't had that success only a couple times. I mean, you have to ask guys on the, uh, on, on the West Coast. I think